Okay, so tapos na tayong mag-solve dun sa problem 1. Nagawa na natin yung adjusting entries or adjusting entry I mean under asset method and under expense method. Magpo-proceed na tayo sa second problem. On July 1, 2019, Laguna Company received a 48,000 pesos check for 2 years rent paid in advance. The company year end is December 31, 2019. Prepare the adjusting entry for December 31, 2019, assuming the entity is using liability method in recording its advance rental collections. And prepare the adjusting entry for December 31, assuming the entity is using income method in recording its advance rental collections. So, kanina, expense paid in advance. Ngayon naman, cash received or cash rental na paid in advance naman. And kanina, asset method, expense method. Ngayon naman, sa income side, liability method, and income method. So, gagawin natin yung adjusting entry under ng liability method and income method. Okay, continuation tayo ng problem solving and sa pag-prepare ng adjusting entries, i-consider ulit natin yung una, yung year end ng entity. So, sa problem na ito, ang year end ay December 31, 2019. And, once na nalaman na natin ang year end ng entity, i-consider naman natin yung period ng rent paid in advance. Yung rent collected in advance. So, yung period ng rent in advance ay 2 years. And, yung period ay from July 1, 2019 nung time na nareceive yung cheque plus 2 years from July 1, 2019. That would be on June 2020. June 2021. So, yung exact term nito would be July 1, 2019 hanggang June 30, 2021. So, marami na naman siyang natama ang different accounting periods. I-spread natin yung 48,000 na na-receive from July 1, 2019 hanggang June 30, 2021. And ang amount ng paid rent in advance is 48,000 pesos. Okay, after natin consider yung year end and yung period ng rent paid in advance, i-consider din natin yung rent income or rent revenue per month. So, kung ito ay 48,000 at mag spread siya from July 1, 2019 hanggang June 30, 2021, which is 2 years, mako-compute natin yung rent revenue per month at Ang rent revenue per month would be 48,000 divided by 2 years divided by 12 months. 48,000 divided by 2, makukuha natin yung rent revenue per year which is 24,000. And para makompute natin yung rent revenue per month, divide natin sa 12 months. So, ibig sabihin, ang rent revenue per month na ma-earn ni Laguna Company from July 1, 2019 hanggang June 30, 2021 would be 2,000 pesos. And, yung 2,000 na yan is ma-earn niya between July 1 hanggang June 30, 2021. So, maraming natamaan nga na different accounting period. So, for 2019... 2020 and 2021. So, sa 2019, ang period would be July 1 hanggang December 31. 
sa 2020, yung buong year ng 2020, January to December 31. Sa 2021, yung last year ng period ng rent in advance. So, hanggang June 3021 lang, 2021 lang. So, yung period covered ng 2021 would be January 1 hanggang June 30. So, ito yung mga accounting periods na affected ng transaction na nabayaran ng customer ni Laguna Company for 2 years paid in advance. So, affected yung 2019, 2020, and 2021. And 2,000 rent revenue per month yung ma-earn ni Laguna Company. Which nakaspread sa tatlong periods na to. For 2019, ang total revenue na ma-earn ni Laguna Company would be from July 1 to December 31. Which is 2,000 per month. 2,000 hanggang December. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 months times 2,000. 12,000 pesos. So for 2020, yung buong calendar year, mag-earn siya ng 2,000 per month doon sa rent paid in advance hanggang December. Total revenue to be earned on 2020 would be 2,000 times 12 months that would be 24,000 pesos. Yung last year ng, ng rent period na paid in advance January 1 to June 30, 2021 na tig to 2,000 per month 2000 hanggang June 30. So 1 2 3 4 5 6. 6 months times 2000 12,000 pesos. Total revenue earned sa 2019 would be 12,000. Total revenue earned for the period of 2020 would be 24,000. And sa 2021, total revenue to be earned ay 12,000. Pesos, 12 plus 24 plus 12,000 equals 48,000 pesos. Yung amount equivalent sa nareceive na cheque ni Laguna Company. And ito yung schedule ng rent revenues na ma-earn ni Laguna Company from 2019 hanggang 2021. Liability method. So, gagawin natin yung adjusting entry under liability method. Katulad din nung asset method and expense method, sa initial entry din ang dahilan kung bakit liability method ang tawag dito. So, nung July 1, nakareceive si Laguna Company ng 48,000 rent paid in advance for 2 years. Since na liability method ang approach na ginamit, To record yung July 1 transaction, July 1, 2019, ang naging entry ni Laguna Company would be debit cash, kasi nakareceive siya ng cash, 48,000, credit, unearned, or deferred rent revenue. And yung unearned or deferred rent revenue, is a liability account 48,000. Bakit siya naging liability account? Okay. Ang analysis kasi dito is hindi mo pa naman na-earn yung revenue relating dun sa cash na na-receive ng entity. Meaning, meron pang liability si entity na mag-render ng service dun sa customer niya or dun sa client na nagbigay ng advance payment. So, may utang pa na service si entity doon sa customer. Kaya siya liability account. Liability method kasi liability yung initial entry na involved.
Okay, ngayon gagawin na natin yung adjusting entry for December 31, 2019. Okay, parang katulad din siya ng asset method or expense method. Iko-consider din natin yung tinatawag na expired portion and yung an expired portion. Yung expired would be yun yung revenue. Revenue earned. And yung unexpired yung unearned. Revenue. Okay. December 31, 2019. So gumawa tayo ng schedule. Yung rent revenue ng July 31 ay ng July 1 hanggang December 31, 2019 would be eto yung expired portion or yung months na naglapse would be 12,000. Eto. Ngayon, yung unearned revenue, yung mga naiwan, which is yung 24,000 plus 12,000. Amounting 36,000 pesos. So, unearned, ang expired would be the revenue earned, 12,000, and unexpired would be the 36,000. So, continuation tayo sa adjusting entries under liability method and the expired would be the revenue earned, the unexpired would be the unearned revenue. So, kapag pinost natin itong journal entry ng July 1 sa ledger, ang magiging itsura niya would be ganito. Cash debit 48,000. Unearned rent revenue credit 48,000. Ngayon, based sa December 31, expired and unexpired portion, dapat merong revenue or rent revenue earned as of December 31, 2019, which is credit na 12,000 pesos. And may unexpired na unearned revenue na 36,000 pesos meaning dapat pagdating ng December 31, 2019 ang balance ng unearned revenue would be 36,000 na lang kasi naglapse na yung first 6 months. Okay, para mag-arrive sa mga figures na ito, magkakaroon tayo ng adjusting entry. Sa unearned revenue, para mag-arrive ka sa 36,000 Magdalagay ka dito ng 12,000 na debit, 48 na credit, 12,000 na debit, Cred net credit is 36,000. Ngayon dito naman may credit na 12,000 so magdalagay ka ngayon ng 12,000 na credit. And ito na yung magiging adjusting entry natin. So to record yung adjusting entry, debit. Unearned or deferred rent revenue, 12,000 credit rent revenue, 12,000 pesos. Yung rent revenue ay na-recognize na sa adjusting entries. And yung kabawasan sa unearned rent revenue is nag-reflect na rin sa adjusting entry na ito. Debit unearned revenue. Credit rent revenue, 12,000 pesos. Okay, for the income method naman na approach, to record yung initial entry na na-receive na cash nung July 1, debit, cash, 48,000, and under income method, the credit would be rent revenue, 48,000 pesos. Income method kasi initial entry, income statement, account, rent, revenue. Okay, to record the adjusting entry on December 31, 2019, consider pa rin natin yung expired and unexpired portion ng unearned rent revenue. So, expired portion would be 12,000, unearned is still 36,000 pesos. Kapag pinost natin ito sa ledger, cash would be 48,000 
rent revenue would be 48,000. But according sa na compute natin na expired and unexpired, there must be a revenue earned lang na 12,000 pesos. Meaning, dapat sa December 31, 2019, 12,000 lang yung balance ng rent revenue, which is yung expired portion. And there must be an unexpired and earned revenue na 36,000 pesos. So, dapat meron pang isang account dito na unearned rent revenue, which is Ang total credit balance niya is 36,000 pesos. But, based sa entry ng under income method, walang naging account na involved na unearned rent revenue. Kaya, ia-adjust natin ito sa December 31 adjusting entry. Okay, may 48 dito na credit and dapat 12,000 na lang siya pagdating ng December 31. So, magde-debit ng 36,000 pesos. 48 minus 36 equals 12. So, dito naman, magkakredit naman ng 36,000 pesos para mag-arrive sa required balance na December 31, 2019, 36,000 pesos. To record yung journal entry, the, record, the entry would be debit, rent, revenue, 36,000 pesos and credit, unearned or deferred rent revenue 36,000 pesos. Okay, nagawa na natin yung adjusting entries under liability method and income method and kapag pinost lahat ng accounts involved under liability method compared sa income method, the balances of accounts would be the same.